The 15th Grand Prix of the season takes us to Asia. Not only is this the first race ever in the city-state of Singapore, it's also the first night race in Formula One history. A special treat for spectators and drivers alike. So drivers should be wide awake going into turn one. The first good chance to overtake. Around five kilometers long, the circuit extends around Marina Bay in the south of Singapore and is driven anti-clockwise. The biggest question mark, particularly for the drivers, will be lighting. But if you think the drivers won't be able to see a thing, then you're wrong. That's because the night in Singapore will be lit up by 3,000 lux. And to give you an idea of just how bright it will be, that's four times brighter than normal floodlights at a football ground. Around 15,000 light projectors provide the required illumination right across the huge city. A clear view, therefore, for the drivers and for the 100,000 plus spectators at the track. The organizers have also ensured there are plenty of runoff zones, a source of major headaches for most city Grand Prix events. The route goes right through the man made harbor and back again into the city's entertainment district. It's top speed towards the Esplanade Theatre, only to break back down just after it to under 100. However, all of this is uncharted territory for the drivers. As previously in Valencia, the teams then do a lot of work in advance with simulations, thus achieving the basis for the right setup. Not an easy task given all the 90 degree corners and top speeds of 300 kilometers an hour. A tough test for brakes and tires. The last turn before the finish line is a crucial point on the circuit, past the world's highest ferris wheel, aiming to achieve a good line and top speed on the straight, and the drivers must take this corner another 60 times before the chequered flag comes down in Singapore.